Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Real Estate Podcast. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title. That's right, Chief Everything Officer, coming back to you with another episode of our South Florida Real Estate Podcast. Today, we have a very special guest. Mariano Gomez is in the uh, Parkland Chamber with me. I met him through social media. And one of the unique things, which we'll talk about in a minute after they get to know you a little bit, is you sell savings. So what I want you to do is tell them a little bit about your history. We're going to talk about solar power today, uh, but tell them a little bit about your history, about how you became a a lover of solar power. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Kevin, for the invitation. My name is Mariano. Uh, Solar is a great new thing. It's just very affordable, finally. Uh, What I do is, you know, the government is so nice with the people. They approve the Inflation Reduction Act. I help homeowners implementing this uh, provision for taxpayers to save taxes instead of paying to the federal government. You basically put it in your house and at the same time you reinforce your property, increase the value and the store savings on energy. Also, and you have a great story because I know you come from the construction background, uh, but you actually became a lover of solar by doing it yourself and investigating many different companies. And one of the unique things about you versus some of the other people is a lot of times you hire a solar company versus a solar consultant. That's right. Correct. And tell, tell them a little bit about the difference. Um, in, the, in every industry, real estate, construction, there are different layers of service providers. The solar companies, they have either their own staff or they subcontract the sales to bring leads, to bring contracts for them to install these solar systems. In this uh, you know, ecosystem, there's uh, independent consultants that do, we don't get paid by you, we get paid by the installers of the systems in your property. What we do is we consult, we give you the best options. How the way it got here is by being in your shoes, the experience of I need solar, I need to do something to stop the public company billing me because I started paying $200 a month, later scaled to $300. I'm about the fives right now. What's the only way to do it? Get advantage of the technology. Uh, nobody ever thought about the solar in the cell phones. You have 20 different devices. The same uh, story with the solar systems. Nobody ever thought that you can afford your own solar system and where to place it. I wish, you know, there were some space in the, in the house, but the only space available is the roof. There's so many technical codes, compliance, regulation that is going to make sure everything that comes into your property fulfills every single piece of code. So nobody ever thinks and realizes this is a long process to get your own solar system in the house. Nobody realized that it's only, it's for everybody, but not everybody qualifies. There are certain roofs that doesn't allow the solar. There are certain uh, footprints that is not enough to have your own power generation uh, equipment. So there's a lot of variables. And what we do as a consultant is to fit everything into the household economy. Um, the other, you know, the, the solar companies, they're not doing it right or wrong. It's just, you have the national firms, you have the regional uh, companies, and you have the mom and shop uh, company doing this same business. You know, what I have done over the last, uh, you know, actually years I started with solar, but in reality, uh, just a few months, is to dig in every single provider. I had 15 companies coming into my home and give me an estimate I was learning from every one of those great, great salespeople. You know, they telling that it's good for you, it's good for the numbers, it's good for the budget in the house. Uh, but at the end, my approach is different. It's getting everything together, the necessity of the house, of solar, based on historic consumption, and setting up the right equipment to fulfill that demand on the household. All right, so they're able to give you a call. You're a consultant, obviously, so you're able to shop around many different companies uh, that would be the best fit for them. So let, let's say we're talking to the real estate agent right now, right? So there's a real estate agent that is shopping people around. Uh, what would you say your opinion is for those watching 
of, of the increase in value to a home if someone were to uh, either want to buy a house that has solar or they're looking to put solar in and how it would increase the value of one's home? You know, it's, it's uh, funny because every sales uh, person, the best approach for solar is in reality, realtors. Realtors has the trust of the community. They have the knowledge of the prices. Uh, and it's funny that, you know, there is some hesitant to, to discuss into solar, talk about solar, but at the same time, everybody believes the statistics from the association. So there's statistics from the association telling about the price increase the demand, but there's also statistics is coming to evaluate the house that has solar systems. And there's a simple reason. The very simple reason is by the time adopting solar into your property, you're going to freeze, semi-freeze, let's be you know, straight, semi-freeze about 80%, 90% of your uh, electric bill. So you're going to freeze it for 25 years, which is still a good useful life of the equipment and five years from today the neighbors are going to pay, be paying whatever inflation and cost increases at that time the ones with solar is going to be paying five years price beforehand uh, 10 years from now uh, everybody will know and you know the, the urgency about adopting these solutions is obviously time uh, increases are coming uh, the public company is going to increase. There's uh, some news on the magazines, on the newspapers, about 10% increase this April. So if you don't get on board on this solution right now, nothing is going to happen. It's basically you're going to keep paying the increases, the future increases of the solar provider. If you get to jump into solar right now, you get to semi-freeze that utility, which we don't realize is the third most, the third biggest expense in the house after mortgage interest and taxes and transportation yeah so you're basically renting your electric right now let's say from from florida power and light uh you know we do a lot of closings and part of our closing process is when we're doing a lot of sales either there's an assumption of a loan or some type of um city grant or a um uh, some type of of tax assessment that's on the taxes so let's talk a little bit about the person that is like, I just don't have the fifty to $75,000 or whatever the cost would be for their, their system. What does it actually cost them today to put a system in their home out of pocket? Uh, can, ca cash is king, as always. Um, typically, it's going to cost between forty to 50000 a good system for a household. Um, but in reality, uh, you get the tax benefit, 30%. It wouldn't make sense this business with this, this benefit in reality. Now, you get to either keep it or put it into the loan. I'm going into the loan now, so fast. So I'm going back. Cash is king. You're gonna get immediate results paying uh, your solar system with cash. Second options, there are a number of venues, financing uh, venues for your own system. It could be uh, climate you know, related banks, it could be your own bank, it could be uh, this other Renew Pace program that basically imposes a voluntary assessment on your property. Uh, but at the end, there's options. What is the right one? What is the fit one? You know, it's upon the very specific case, each rooftop, each consumption need is a uh, homeowner can get a hold of many different options that's the great thing there are options all right so you can consult with them on the different options but the reality of the question at the end is that it doesn't cost them anything today there are options for them to start saving immediately get the basically the system to pay for the loan because they're eliminating their bill and, and basically they don't it doesn't cost them anything Basically, uh, uh, after the process, it's a long process that we could discuss about, but after the process, instead of writing a check to one company, you write a sh two checks. One for that company that is going to be kind of your battery, because with the net metering, they're going to keep the energy that you produce during the day, and then, then you can zoom it back during the night. Um, and the other check is going to be to the finance company, whatever that is. It's exactly the same. A, the beauty of this business is it has to make sense. It has to be 
exactly the same that you're paying right now to one company, the same amount to pay that battery for the, the, the company to use as a battery system, and then you're going to be paying the, your finance program. All right, so we know it doesn't cost anything. There's a huge savings. There's a tax break. Um, it's a no-brainer, I think, to put it on. But a lot of the questions we'll also get when we start talking to people about solar and um, anything that's economical a lot of times is, well, how long does this last? So, so let's just say I buy a house and there's a 20-year life expectancy on the roof. How long does the system last if you were to put one on a house? This system's like, I'll go back to my previous experience was towers. In the tower business, it's steel. You put a tower, it lasts 50 years. In reality, it lasts 100 years. For the houses, these systems are made to last 30, 40, 50 years. But in reality, the degradation of the efficiency lasts 25 years. After 25 years, goes about under 90 or 85%. That is, you know, it's, it's going to produce less. It's going to be there, no problem. It's going to produce less, but good, reliable source of energy is going to have at least for 25 years, and that's the length of this of the finance program as well. So it makes sense. By the way, to the finance program, some of them, the collateral, is basically the system, because it's going to be producing so much benefits and so much savings for you. Right now, five years, 10 years along the road, that they don't need any other collateral but their own system itself. Okay, so the system lasts 25 years. The savings period is about 25 years until the loan is repaid. But after that, the system continues to work, then putting money into the homeowner's pocket. So if the homeowner doesn't pay cash for it, they'll see about a 25 year, uh, in about 25 years, they'll start getting the savings, but they will see the increase in the value of their home if they were to go sell um, or do anything with their home at this point. If they go and sell the house five, 10 years along the road, their statistics is evaluated between five, 5.5% 5 .5 over the market price. They get sold easier, faster. Uh, all this information is verifiable. So I you know, call for the realtors to spread the word about these systems. There's one little detail, not everything is uh, mar marvelous in life. The consultants, the ones selling to you the system has to be double verified. There's our tools at the Department of Energy at the federal level that you could verify everything they're telling you as far as the size of the system, the type of equipment, the quantities, uh, the warranties. But at the end, what I do is to replace your job of verifying all that and I provide all this information up front and go out and get the best installer in the area and that's also very important who's going to take care of your roof who's going to penetrate let's talk about it real they're going to penetrate the roof and they're going to pay so many layers of uh, water resistant equipment that is going to be solid it's going to be absolutely solid because it's the warranties of the manufacturer of the equipment the brackets and the license, engineering license, applying for this permit at the city level. So there's so many uh, certainties for the homeowners that it's going to be safe, it's going to be secure, and it's going to be on your rooftop. Right, so you want to make sure obviously it's being done by a reputable company, which you've now vetted multiple companies, so you're able to pick what the best solution is for clients. Uh, one of the things you spoke about, with, which was pretty interesting, is you talked about like, uh, how you're producing energy during the day and storing it for at night. Talk to them a little bit about that because I think that's very interesting because obviously the sun's not out at night. Um, how do you guarantee that I'm going to have power to run my house at night? I go back to technology. In reality, the technology that measures how much power those cell panels install on directly to the sun, how much do they generate during the day? The benefit of this business, and again, it makes sense here in Florida because of the sunshine state, because of the regulation in place, because of the tax benefits. Uh, what it makes sense is the net metering. FPL has installed right now in every one of your properties, 
one device that measures how much energy input takes into the house. But you need to change to a net metering device. This is a device that actually measures how much you're gonna get back to the grid uh, power that you are generating. So during the day, your panels all, you know, just imagine rays and you know sparks coming into the house and going back to the grid because you don't consume it that much during the day. At night, you consume energy that you went back, send back to the to the grid. And that's the, also the great benefit of putting together so many variables. Uh, but the net metering is another process that goes along the whole implementation of this system in your property. All right, my last question, and then we'll wrap up because we want to keep it short. So for the attention of the people watching us, let's talk about the tax credit, because I think that's real important for people to understand. We touched on it briefly. What is the tax credit that is offered? Because I know people, they offer them for impact windows, solar systems, there, there's lots of different tax credits. How does that work with what they're looking to do with solar? First disclosure, I'm not a tax expert. Um, you need to consult with your uh, accountant to make this effective. But at the end, the federal government, what it's doing is protecting the household. Uh, by doing so, this Tax Inflation Reduction Act, um, they're gonna shield in a certain way the increases of energy and the whatever extra future expenses that you have to have in the future, they want you to do it now, secure your property. In that way, it comes into this program, um, whatever that makes your home net zero. Net zero meaning whatever you use, you source it yourself. You don't source it from pollutant sources like the company, like the energy company, or um, you even create savings at the insurance level because you're making your home more res resilient. And at the end, insurance drops the risk of uh, replacing your home value. So going back, it includes windows, uh, heat pumps, water heaters, ACs, roofs, and solar systems. And also very important, it includes a number of gadgets that are gonna make your home efficient, meaning uh, five, 10, up to 20% reduction of consumption energy that you're doing your whole, at, the, at your home home right now. Um, everything is included. It's a very smart idea, um, and it's more smart to you know, look into it. Uh, the, the most expensive cost is no action cost at the end. Okay. One more last question, I promise, because I know I said the other one was the last question, but I just thought about it. Let's just say it's cloudy for a week. What, what, what happens if there's no sun to produce my energy and I'm relying on my sun to produce the energy for my house, what happens? Nothing happens. It happens that your, your system is going to produce when it's shiny. What happens is, again, we're going back to technologies. We get to design your system according to your history. Your history is there's four people in that household. Uh, it's so much square footage, so many ACs, so many water heaters. There's a history, consistent history of your consumption. Therefore, we design this system according to that history. If next day, if next year, you start uh, go a bit higher or lower that history, there's gonna be consequences, but you know, either you're gonna pay more, or you're gonna save more, but at the end, the trick is designing this system according to your history. To meet the needs. So that's why every one system is not the same. They hire you to design a system based on their consumption over a period of time. Uh, again, consumption, equipment, square footage, uh, everything has to make sense. So the system calculates how many panels are needed and what other devices are needed in the house to produce year round the same energy. Okay. And how much time do you need of their history of that they've been consistent in their house? Obviously someone that just bought a house, it may not be that consistent on their own personal consumption. Correct. Is there a period of time that you would need their, uh, their, their electric bills for? Six months, a year? 
It's basically um, with uh, electric bills from four different seasons. The system also estimates in order to be 100% precise, you know, we can get to analyze the last 12 months okay. of consumption. But at the end, uh, what the system is going to guarantee is to produce that much. If you go over, if you go over that consumption, you're going to pay according to the PL net metering, meaning the ones that you don't consume, you get to pay. But the ones that you actually produce and consume, net metering, you pay zero. There's a whole idea about the net zero home solution uh, and all these uh, solutions precisely to, you know, produce your own energy in-house. All right. Well, I appreciate you coming on today. Thank you so much. For those that are interested in talking to Mariano about the opportunities of solar and the future of solar, I'm going to put his contact information below. You may be watching this on, on video or on one of our podcast streams. Uh, so just click below, reach out to them, let them know you heard us on the on the Real Estate Podcast and see what solar can do for you. Any last minute words for them? Uh, thank you, everybody, for the, the ones driving, get home safely. 660-833-0001 is my cell phone number for over 12 years now. No, almost 20 years. So thank you so much, Kelvin. Very welcome. Really appreciate it. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching another Real Estate Podcast. Look forward to seeing you on another episode soon. As always, remember, we look forward to seeing you at the closing table. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.